Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karen Marie. This is Vlogmas Day 6. I am back in my little kind of office. Um, so pardon the bad light because it's now 8-ish p.m. <laughs> I haven't really looked at my watch for a while, but it's about 8. Um, <clears throat> I've been to work today, obviously. Um, and then straight after work, I actually went out to a little fabric shop that's about mm, half an hour uh, from where I live. It is a delightful, old fashioned, you know, beautiful, really, I think, uh, fabric store that is so... What's the word I'm thinking of? <laughs> you know what, what they say about like chain stores? They're, they're all pretty much the same. That's kind of the whole reason why it's a chain, right? Um, so fabric stores like Joann's and, and I don't know, self-made and all that kind of jazz. They're all pretty much the same, <clears throat> which is great if you need to know what you're going to get. The, my local fabric store, which is called Hjule Centre, um, is the complete and utter opposite of that. <laughs> um, the, the owner of the store is a woman who's been running that store since, I don't know, the 80s maybe, something like that. Um, it is packed with clothes and fabric and it's just this oops the light did something weird there the it's it's kind of a fantasy land uh, i actually made a video earlier if i can remember i'll put a card into that um where i showed you what it looks like inside but i'll i made a little snippet of a video today too and i'll put that in um, but when I arrived there, it was completely dark inside and I thought, are they closed? But then on the outside of the, of the shop, they still had all the, like baskets with zips and everything outside. So, and the door was open. So I kind of just, hello, <laughs> you know, inside. And it turns out the electricity was gone in the complete the in all of the area. I hadn't really noticed that every house around was completely dark, but <clears throat> I actually <laughs> myself and like three other customers were walking around inside with the 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 light on our mobiles on, <laughs> just kind of browsing in the in the sections and everything. <clears throat> Sorry about the voice. Uh, using using the the phone flashlight it was kind of funny really when you think about it <laughs> um <clears throat> uh so i it was kind of a spur of the moment thing uh or at least i i started thinking about it yesterday after i vlogged uh about making my christmas dress or christmas party dress and thinking about making it from Jersey, I might still do that. But I suddenly like, you know, I want a really nice dress for this party, but it can't be anything like really complicated, obviously, because it's it's Wednesday and the party is on Friday. So basically I have tomorrow to make it. Um, And then I suddenly kind of had this brainwave that I might make the um, Friday Pattern Company, come on, it's a uh, Saturday skirt set. Now I've made two of the skirts. I didn't use to like like midi skirts. They're not the most flattering things on me, but I really like um, the kind of slightly A-line shape of the, of the skirt. And I've been wanting to make the top, and even though, um, like bare midriff is really not my thing anymore. Um, 
<laughs> um, but uh, I think that if I wear like a cami or something underneath it, it could actually be a quick, quick and still pretty nice option um, for for a party dress on Friday. So that was why I suddenly made the decision to just go straight after work. I headed off to the fabric store and then, you know, as I already told you, kind of wandered around there with the flashlight on my phone to try to find something inside. Now, while I was there, the electricity came back on and that's when I filmed a few seconds, just, you know, showing you a bit around the, the shelves there. But I thought that I could show you what I bought. Um, so first of all, I bought four meters actually of this. It, it's hard to see the real color. It's not as orangey red as it looks here. Um, and I bought four meters of it. It's a viscose, but it's kind of a heavy viscose. Uh, it's not a twill, but it kind of has that kind of weight to it. Um, and I bought four meters because I thought um, that I didn't want to have, I mean, I could make the Saturday skirt set in my size from about three meters, I think, the entire thing. Um, but I wanted to be able to, you know, make sure that I had enough. So I bought four meters of it. Now, in all honesty, it is a little more uh, Christmassy red <laughs> than I could see from, from, you know, the, oops, you sort of fell over there. Mm. Uh, from from the light on my phone uh, so I'm kind of second guessing myself a little bit here because I love wearing red but I need kind of a cool red because I believe that I, I have a cool tone so um, warm red is not doing anything for me um, so it's a little more like a little warmer than I thought it would be but um, <clears throat> I'm going to throw it in the wash and then you know we'll see in a better light the second thing I bought was this not very exciting but it's a really nice uh, French terry with a brushed um, back to it and I'm going <laughs> sorry but he's really close by um so uh yeah i think that's going to be good because he loves the kind of high necked um sweatshirts so yeah that's for him <laughs> okay and finally i bought this which is uh the same weight i think it's the same fabric actually as the other one the red one but this is a really nice blue and I'm very happy with this I think this is going to be the one if I end up making um if I don't make the jersey dress <laughs> if that makes sense um <clears throat> and I've actually bought this fabric before because uh, last year my eldest daughter went to a winter formal for her school and she was very keen for, for me to make her something. And she ended up wanting the, um, oh, it's a Megan Nielsen pattern. It's a skirt, the Cascade, can that be the right one? Um, yeah, so it's a high-low skirt anyway. Um, and she wanted me to make her one of those for her winter formal. So yeah, um, that was uh, what I bought. I also bought, uh, you know, a bit of thread and a few zips and new machine needles and everything, but you don't need to see that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I I kind of, I had hoped to find like a, a black uh, one, a black sort of like a viscose maybe with a bit of lurex in it or something. Um, to to make the party <laughs> dress a little more obvious, but I couldn't really find what I wanted. Um, 
I mean, I, I'm sure they have something because they have like, it, it's just packed. Um, but I couldn't really find what I wanted uh, in the in the light of my phone anyway, because most of the things that were closer to the, the things that I had envisioned were more like, like very heavy, um, like satin or like a silk duchess or, you know, um, or something very like heavy but polyestery that wouldn't really swoosh. More like think you would make a formal ball gown out of or something like that and not really what I wanted at all. So uh, I decided on making maybe something from a little planer like this one and then rather like jazzing it up with a piece of jewelry or, or two <laughs> instead just to kind of and the the upside of that is of course that i can use it for more like regular occasions as well um and of course the upside of making something like the the saturday skirt set is that i can use them separately as well um <clears throat> so in a way, I think it's a good sustainable option <laughs> to make something that's not just for one occasion and uh, something that I can use on a regular basis. Um, I actually now just realized that I forgot to bring the advent calendar up from <laughs> from my bedroom. Um, so that will going to be, you know, that's going to be for tomorrow instead. <laughs> So I, um, and by the way, update on my coat. That turned out to be a much simpler job than I had feared. So I, oop, again with the light. Um, so I should have done that a long time ago. So today I wore my coat to work all fixed up. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Bye.